merch. Guys, come. If this is going to be our first touring, <laughs> quote unquote, two stop show. tour. Two stop tour. <laughs> so it'd mean a lot to us if you came and encouraged us, and then maybe we'll do it again. Maybe. But if nobody comes, we'll never do it again. Well, it might be harder. <laughs> it truly will. It We're going to need some more guarantees. Yeah. But um, tag your Colorado friends. But um, but um, but um, but um, I'm not live yet. Something horrible has happened. But they can hear us. They're here, right? Yeah, they can hear us. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. But is Caleb not live? Is that what he said? Uh, no, he's not recording. Just, uh, the audio's not. Um. All right, folks. I know it's Friday. Please, if you're on, just get that through your head. I know it's Friday. We know. We know. We know. We can't always live stream on Mondays, but we are recording Musical Monday today, and then we're gonna release it later on a Monday. So what we need from you is we need uh, made-up musical titles that don't exist. Try to make them juicy. Try to make them floozy. If you squeeze them a little bit, they get so oozy. Oozy, boozy, boozy. I'm my caboosey. It's really good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I trust I wish I could, but I'm all the way in Australia. Um, Nor Claire. <laughs> time to move, Claire. It's time to move, Claire. <laughs> Mama was good. a juice box is our first suggestion. I love that. Mama was a juice box. Ugh. Daddy Mama was a don't be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just got to do a quick reset. I got one New Year's <laughs> Eve at the discount party warehouse. I like the idea, but it's a little bit too time themed. Time themed ones typically don't do well. Especially when it's not New Year's Especially Eve. Especially when it's not even Unfortunately, but I do it. like the warehouse concept you've got going on. Let's workshop that. Let's workshop Alfie that. B asks, wait, what, what's the game again? We are doing Musical Monday. We're going back to our roots. We're going to be reviewing <laughs> a musical that doesn't exist, singing three of our songs. Hamburglar diss track. Daddy won't come home from the banana war. <laughs> Today isn't Monday, Keegan. I told you. I told you. I told you it wasn't Monday. I told you this. I told you. I know. Don't think of Monday as a day. Think, think of it as, as an experience, an experience yes. that you can have any day of the week. That's great. Yeah, we are trying to <laughs> reframe Monday not as a terrible time you go back yeah, to work. You know how everyone loves Mondays. Well, they don't, but now they do. Now they do. That's that was always our mission. Pavlov's dog. Taco meat and my pudding. Musical Monday is a lifestyle, says Emily. That's true. Do you live the Musical Monday lifestyle? Mondays don't exist? Um, oh, okay. Today is Monday. My bad. <laughs> I'm glad I shamed you into not getting the days of the week. Uh, Saturday at the Recycling Center. Hmm, that's interesting. Saturday. Working from home, not working. Recycling. Community College Mosh Pit. Hmm. We haven't done a community college one. We've done lots of elementary schools, high schools, college. <laughs> Yeah. School is a big... Yeah, we do public pool, so it's basically community college. What mm. even is a Monday? Exactly. Exactly. Now you're getting exactly. it. See, this is what we're talking about. Yeah. Time's a construct. Days are made up. What is going? a Monday? You tired, Shay? Uh, a little bit, yeah. A little sleepy, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Probably should have taken double dose. Did. You did? Yeah. Okay. The half of this episode's gonna get crazy. <laughs> there you guys. Something's Hambone Diaries. It's fun. Insecurity it Security Guard. Insecure Security Guard. Hi, my friend is really sick. I hope that's a title and not the truth. Sorry that your friend Rockin is sick. the Crocs in sport mode. Oh my. <laughs> English degree. Aspiring. Uh, he wants you to laugh. Always. Let's Friday my Monday. Aspiring actor fails. It'd be kind of fun to make fun of actors. We've been talking about actors a little bit. Sure. 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 Got a jive. That sounds fun. What's it called again? It's called Aspiring Actor Fails, but it might be fun just call it Aspiring Actor. Because there's a difference. Call it fails. Or just call it Fails. Yeah, why not? Why no, not? Aspiring Actor and Fails. Oh, sure. Why change? Sure. Why change anything? Because um, I do think there's a difference between an aspiring actor and an actor. <coughs> I will gatekeep acting. Good. And I can do that because I'm not one. Really? I'm not an actor. So I can say that. Don't call me an actor. No one's going to. Sure. I've been. (laughs) Sure. I've been. I've played a cop in a TV show that's been seen by probably 10,000 people. You've been in commercials. I've been in commercials, but do not call me an actor. (laughs) Fat night once. Yeah, I was a fat Prince Charming. Oh, that's what it was. Hey, guys, says Sarah Hart, with the sports socks, too. 
I know. I'm sported. Didn't Ew. you know? Root and toot and let me climb you like a tree, Zach, with the Kermit profile picture. <laughs> Not off to a good start. Okay. Me at Kia, when are you guys coming to Australia? Well, once we can conquer Colorado, then maybe we'll make the so- sojourn over to Australia. The trek. Putting the fun in funeral? I'm your cousin, Zach. I don't think that's true. Uh... <laughs> Are they coming to Denver? Oh, they're coming to Denver or Greeley. Yes, Groovy. True, 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 true. No. What does KCMO mean? I don't Here know. for Shay. Heart. Love we, you guys. We know. We know. How about Chicago? We are actually Chicago's probably closer than we think. We got a yeah. friend there. Mm-hmm. There's a cool venue there that we've that we've connected with. Someday so we'll go to Chicago someday. Thank you, uh, Patrick Prenter, for the rose. Thank you so much. So kind. Um, all right, should we just do <gasps> aspiring actor fails? Yes. I love y'all's content, says they love me. And come to Memphis. Y'all. I'd love to come to Memphis. We were just in San Antonio. And so we got a taste for the South. God, come to Memphis. 193. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm hoping we get a thousand so someone gets the gallows. So we just need five times the number of people in here. And then Shay will hang somebody? No, I'm just saying you get the gallows themselves. Are you guys going to be not, around? They just are gifted a gallows. They're gifted to do as they will. <laughs> Hopefully. And it's not even just a noose, it's a whole deck with the trap board. I don't and think the, the gallows is a, a hanging. It is? It is. Oh. What did you think it was? I thought it was the thing that you put your arms through. Oh, that's the stockade oh. or the stocks. Okay. You've been violent, Shay. Yes. Bring back pub- public hanging? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, no. Said the same guy who wants to climb me uh, like a tree. I don't like that at all. Hi, here from the Philippines. Love you both. Come to the UK eventually. You guys can be around the Boston area. I love Boston. It's one of my favorite cities. She has family there. Boston. We'd love to go. All right. We're going to lose audio for a second. I got to reset this. It's on my dad. Okay, we're going to lose audio for a second, so just... Don't, don't we're gonna um, communicate only don't through. Cry for me. Can you come to Boise? Yeah. We've been to Boise, so we can definitely come again. Fun to do a show there. I like Boise. Yeah, it's fun. It's a cool town. They're downtown, that little strip with their mm, God, mm, the pretzels. Restaurants. Oh, yeah, we had a really good pretzel there. Bunch of restaurants. Can you sing YMA O H Y D? I don't know what that means. Y'all should come to Houston. I love Boston Marathon. Get kissed in a Walgreens in Boston. Call me. Call me Aff like I miss you. Thank you, Joe, for the donut. The bear extra episode, but no one knows how to cook. Okay. Come to Maine. I would love, I would love to know why Stephen King wrote books in that place. Maine? Have yeah. you been there? Never been, but I want to know. I've been there once. Lobster. Lobster. When I visited my aunt in Boston, and the lobster was... Devon. Came here for the gallows. I'm disappointed. Well, you can't be because we don't have a thousand people in the live stream. <laughs> See? Y'all should come to Narnia. Uh Come to Maine. Are you going to sing something? We will, we will. But we're getting technical stuff figured out. We're going to do the Sorry. We're gonna do the episode. But just a heads up for people on there. This isn't a super interactive episode. So once we go, just sit back and listen and enjoy it, okay? Um, Ohio and West Virginia bor- border visit Mothman. Sharing with my neighbors, we need the gallows. Uh, what's on her Crocs? The mixer is not communicating with my laptop at all. I can't figure out why. Uh oh, <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Da 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 da. Um, they should have you again now. Wait, they can hear us now? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're back. The real ones? No. These are the Crocs that David Paddock had bought for me. Yeah, the real ones. Yes. If, if you didn't know, they're not real. Yeah. Actually, do you have a thousand? You just can't see it as the host? No? I know. There's 209 people in here. 217? Don't have a thousand. No gallows. Sorry. Uh, someone asked if we're going to play D&D. Uh, we just recorded a pilot episode for a musical D&D episode called Bards and Brigands. With uh, Jackson Holiday as the DM. It's going to be pretty fun. So we'll see... <sighs> I'll never forget when we were like, what sh- should we do? And I think it was Jackson who was, or maybe it was Ethan who said, we should do D&D. And Gabriel's like, no. <laughs> I still maintain that position. Yeah, I yeah. figured as much. Because we're bad at it? It's just saturated. Well, yeah. Oh, there's just a Everyone's podcast. got, but I will say this, most D&D podcasts are, not, no shade to the people, I'm sure they're wonderful, yeah. is a technical nightmare. Like, I saw another one with, it was a grid of nine people all just talking. And I was like, 
And they were having a great time. Anyway, so well, uh, I'm rolling now. So we're rolling. We are rolling. You should go in Broadway. All righty. Um, okay, so folks on the stream, I'm gonna put the phone away. I cannot see you. I'm so sorry. Um, but we are going to uh, do a musical Monday episode titled "Aspiring Actor Fails." You guys want to go uh, scene into song and then intro? Yes. Great. Let's All right. Whenever you're ready. Hold on. Holding. Hold. Hold. My voice is. It might might be some low songs today. Really. Might be some what blues. Happened? My voice is all cranky. Okay, we're clear. ready. I'm so nervous. Don't be. I'm finally moving to LA. Oh my and gosh. I'm here. <laughs> you moved here. I'm moving and I'm here. Look, this. I know it's our first day as roommates, but there's something special about you. No, stop that. Something special about you. No, I'll only be a PA. That's my dream to be a production assistant. Oh, good, because we look very. We have similar looks, and so only one of us would get the role. Ugh, no one to break your legs. No one looks like me. I'm adopted. I was given up at birth. Okay, people can still look like you. I mean, not me. I was. You you know, separated from my family. Oh, I don't even know who my family being is. Real pick me right now. Let oh. me read my lines. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interior cafe. Barista says, "Order up for Miss Jackson." I can't. My husband's in the hospital. I can't have any orders. I can't afford it. I'm so sorry. I can't. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look. My dad is the president of Disney, and I've swore never to use nepotism, but I think I need to get you an audition at Disney today. <laughs> okay. Is, <laughs> cool. I mean, I want to give you a blank check. What kind of movie do you want to watch? When you moved here from Nowheresville, USA, what was your dream role? I'm going to play Nicole Kidman in her biopic. <laughs> Yeah, that totally tracks. Okay. You look like her a lot. <laughs> That's great. So your dad's going to make that happen? I mean, we're going to have to see how the interview goes. But if it were up to me, I'd have you star in every movie. Wow, I really thought this would be about aspiring actors, but it looks You're like... You're still I'm aspiring. Sorry. Nothing's happened yet. Okay. You're still, we're both aspiring together. <laughs> Whether the reality of it actually happens <laughs> is yet to come to pass. <laughs> but in this moment, we have dreams. And I believe they'll come to pass, surely. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, let's make a quick stop at Voodoo Donuts in Portland. <laughs> and while we do, um, let's talk about all the movies I think you'd be incredible in. Okay. Or you could talk about a movie you want to be in and talk about the synopsis or the story. Just do it. You're being such a wussy right now. I'm sorry. This is why I can only be a production assistant. You could have been Thanos in Marvel's Endgame. You could have been Gilbert Grape, what's his name? Johnny Depp in any film. I think that you could take the helm. I think that you could rock it in anything. You believe me? Maybe those aren't movies you're interested in all. Stupid, dumb, idiot, Carly, you're so stupid. Yeah, if you want to be a PA, you better come up with the right movies. Uh, well, what was your favorite movie growing up? Cars 2. <laughs> I could have played Lightning McQueen. Good job. That's exactly I can see it now. Me dressed as a car be the only non-cartoon. That's right, you are the perfect guy. They wouldn't even need to use CGI. Just you out on the racetrack going 100 miles an hour. I could have played the light lamp in the Pixar show. Yes! I could hop just like that and I got squeaky shorts. Cause you are picture perfect. Cause you are picture perfect. You're perfect for every picture, you're picture perfect. I could have played Anakin in Star Wars So too. true. I could have played Padme as well. Both roles. <laughs> I could have played whatever, uh, what is the other guy with ropes? Obi-Wan oh, Kenobi. Cause you're just I see. Cause I'm big. 
perfect. Can't wait to see is your picture perfect. I could have played the teeth of and of Don Quixote. Yes. <laughs> Academy, someone's going to be sweeping the awards this year. That's right. I'm going to win an Oscar playing the eyebrow of the new uh, uh, live action of Fern Gully movie. Cause you're picture perfect. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Musical Monday, Musical Monday. Listen into Hollywood, you'll hear some wails. Of the, uh, many aspiring actors. Fails. Fails. <laughs> Musical Monday. Hello and welcome back to Musical Monday with Caleb, Zach, and Shay at Improv Broadway. This is the show where we review musicals that have ne'er, air, 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 air been given the justice that needs to be, mm. be, 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 be given to them. A cruel fate. A cruel fate. And the, you just heard the first opening scene from Aspiring Actors Fails, the musical. Something which, as someone in the entertainment industry myself, ooh, it pings me because rejection sucks. Oh, yeah. But you just got to get in with the PAs. That's what people don't know. Mm-hmm. They're always trying to schmooze the top. Yeah. You got to schmooze the bottoms. Yes. Don't forget about the director. <laughs> forget about the executive producers. No, no, no. It's all about the people passing out cafe. PAs. Yeah, the PAs. Craft services. Get like a good boom guy. Oh, yeah. Get oh. You anyway. If you could get a gaffer. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're teasing. Those are actually very cool professions. They are. Yeah. I know people that do all those things and I, they're great. And yeah. you should schmooze them just because they probably because, want Because, and they like don't get enough love. They don't get enough love at all. And so, uh, but also they could get you in the right rooms. Yeah. Yes. Especially. So schmooze them for that reason. Also still. <laughs> also as well. Also still. Also they could get still. you in the right rooms. The, yeah, the right rooms. Uh, yeah, so fun. Um, imagine your roommate immediately is obsessed with you. So fun. Uh, prints out your headshots, starts delivering them all over town. Starts stapling them to phone posts <laughs> saying, have you seen this star? Right. Stapling yeah. it to people's foreheads saying, oh. you have no choice but to see this star. <laughs> saying, yeah, saying in two years, all of you are going to get in plastic surgery to look like this person because yep, 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 such yep. a big deal. Right. Oh. Using hypnotism, going back and forth saying, she will be the next... Uh, Florence Madonna. Pugh. Yes. Yeah, which is interesting because she fights it in the first scene, but they do look a lot alike. Mm-hmm. Like a lot alike. They yeah. do, and Carly keeps bringing up like that she was separated at birth, she doesn't know who her family <laughs> is, and... <laughs> I, I can't remember if that comes up at all. I can't remember either, but, but it definitely, true, it was a big offer. Yeah. yeah. But Carly's a really interesting character because she has <laughs> zero confidence in herself, but has all the confidence in the world for her roommate, mm-hmm. whose name yeah. is... Um. Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> yeah, when she came out, she was the born was like, for the stars. This one. That's right. This one. But you know how uh, they baby. say, whatever your name is, you do the opposite. Right. That's why she went into film. Yeah. Right. Everyone was like, you should go into Broadway. That's your name. She's like, ew. Yeah, she had a brother named Taxes, but he went into tax fraud. Right. Yeah. 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 And she had a brother named Envelope, and he texts. <laughs> <laughs> a really fun family from Nowheresville, USA. <laughs> yeah. 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 Her mom and dad named dad and mom. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> dad and mom. <laughs> <laughs> but they play each other's roles. Right. They, don't, they don't believe in traditional. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, they do a great job. Uh, gender roles. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, so Carly's really interesting because she has she's a nepo baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, uh, she was adopted. I'm just not really like she was adopted by Disney by because Disney. by Disney. By Disney is the corporation. Yes, no, no person. <laughs> yeah, she no. is the one living actual ward of Disney. Yes, yeah. I want to be clear. Corporations are not people, but they can adopt they can you and adopt. raise you. That's yes. right. We've learned yeah. that from the boys. The boys. <laughs> <laughs> she is the homelander of Disney, yeah, but, but she refuses to use her powers. And, yeah, and, and I say we're, I would say her psychopath level is pretty low. Yeah, pretty low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. still got love from Walt uh, Corpse. Walt Corpse. Walt, Walt Corp. Corpsey. Frizo. Yeah. Frizo. Frozo. Well, it's interesting because it's, it's the Walt Corpse, but it's also the Walt Corporation, so it works both ways. Oh, That's true. That's what they meant by the <laughs> Disney Corp. Walt Corp. Oh, gosh. Okay, so. Um, but in this song, we see the jealousy is ripening. Yes. Because um, 
you know, even though Carly is this, uh, believes in Broadway so much, yes. Carly is still a Nepo baby of Disney. Right. She has all of the perks you can imagine. She gets oh, to go to Disneyland every day. She gets to sleep in the Matterhorn. Sleep in the mat. <laughs> Everything you've ever wished. Everything you ever wanted. <laughs> she snuggles up with a Yeti. Can That's actually right. lie down with her. It's really That's cool. That's right. Her, she has three million dollars in cash at all times. At all times. Yeah, it's just a running total. Uh-huh. She has an assistant who like replenishes her yeah. money bag. So in this song, it's Carly saying like, "Hey, I, here's what I'm like willing to give you because I love you so much." And then it's Broadway saying, "But here's what I'll never have." Right. In this song. Disney's little girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks for the offer, but I'll have to pass. I am nothing. I know my place and what you have. I'm not even worth a farthing. Sure, I'm a millionaire. You care because you've got so much innate talent, so much skill to have that. If for that I would kill. My life is a prank. You got to be breastfed by Tom Hanks. The nepotism is dripping, dripping from your smug face. I could only wish for one. Uncle Ron, uh, no big deal. (laughs) He was at my sweet 16. (sighs) He gave me the original tape of the Grinch. And I said, no thanks, and my nose I pinched. You've got it all, Broadway. I trade you any day. Yeah, right. Robert De Niro, well, you see. Godmother, whatever. I can't have what you have, simply never. Yes, I have all the people in the world for to succeed, but I don't have anything to give to people to feed. I'm empty and hollow. I have nothing, so I have to borrow. I'm empty and hollow. I'm just Disney's little girl. I could not afford, but you got your first pair of Nikes from Michael Jordan. I never even had shoes scraped off the bottom. I guess that's why I belong on the bottom. Yes, I was given a Tesla in 99 before the company even was about. But when I look inside what I have, non-material, Broadway, I'm filled with doubt because I'm hollow. I just wish I could be a real girl. At least the thing that makes me feel better, it's that the CEO is a so hollow. So Take my cash, <laughs> Broadway, go and get us. Of course, the Sleeping Beauty rubies. <laughs> you had them in your pocket. All of the time. gold from Pirates of the Caribbean is real. <laughs> it's mine. It's yours now. Oh my gosh, the cars from Fast and Furious. All 
of giving them. Giving them to me? Yes, you're getting Dom Toretto <laughs> as a husband. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> And maybe with me having nothing, I could build some character, and I won't be quite so hollow. I never thought that this could be. You can share your luck as a Nepo baby. Thanks for giving me one night out with John Krasinski. Now you have the whole world. But I'm so excited to no longer be Hollow Disney's little girl. <laughs> fun. Oh, fun, fun. Yeah, if you had everything, I think you'd want to have the talk from Robert De Niro. Maybe marry Vin Diesel. Have John one Toretto. night out with John yeah. Krasinski. Yeah. <laughs> what what celebrity would you want to give you the talk? Give me uh, the talk. The, Patton the Oswalt. Talk. Oh, that's well, cute. Well, okay, first Danny DeVito, I, and then Patton Oswalt. I would choose John Mulaney. I would choose oh, John that Stewart. Would be great. I'd be like, yeah. Really? <laughs> Go on. Oh my God. <laughs> Give us some examples. <laughs> but only if he's doing it now. Only if he's uh, to me, as right now, as a married man <laughs> with a child. Oh, he's not married anymore, but he, he is in a relationship. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Sad. Um, but oh, what good. what's so interesting is that the way that this this ends is it ends at the premiere of um, Broadway's hit movie. Um, Nicole, <laughs> colon, no longer a kid, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, she, plays, she plays Nicole Kidman in the sweet biopic. That's it's right. awesome. And she also plays all of the other characters' eyebrows. Yeah. Because she's they, like, we want you for Nicole Kidman. She's like, that's my dream, but also. But also. Eyebrows. Well, she's trying to win that Oscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really and trying. She's this trying is to... Oscar, but her first film, she's going for Oscar well, bait. no. <laughs> Well, no one's played an eyebrow before. They yeah. always play the full human. Yes. And what's the what's the most emotional? Which part of expressive. the body has the most emotionally expressive potential? Eyebrows. The eyebrows. The expressive eyebrows. Just eyebrows. And it's very fun because uh, most of the movie is just Nicole Kidman's full length version of her uh, movie trailer. Yeah. Uh, uh, for Cinemark. Cinemark, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or is it Cinemark or AMC? Cinemark. AMC. 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 Yeah. AMC. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Zach. Yeah, um, the, the way they do the eyebrows is really fun. You know, like. I think maybe Lord of the Rings did it first, where they put like all the nodes on and then they do all the things. She's like that, yeah. she's laying on the ground. That's and she's, right. Like, doing all the eyebrows. That's moves, right. You know? And so then right. what's kind of creepy about it is that then the face is CGI. Yes. Because she is playing the eyebrow and she's quite yes. large. Yeah. So yes. <laughs> she's just like. <laughs> You have to really zoom in to even see the acting. But she's had everything she's ever wanted. Yes. And she's at this premiere standing ovation, and she's just being flooded by all the Krasinskis and the De Niro's of the world. But as she is having this this incredible moment, she sees in the corner of an eye over on the other side of the street at a little dive bar, yeah. just having the time of their life, are young, struggling actors having the time of their life. Yeah. And she sees uh, Carly over there laughing. Hmm. And she starts to have some thoughts. Right. And her thoughts are, um, you know, statistically, I'm not going to make it. Even if this movie gets made, it's not going to see the light of day. They don't have... Any deals with Netflix or Amazon Prime? Mm -hmm. She's thinking, okay, I'm scrolling through my Rolodex. Um, You know, at the end of the day, I'm not an Epo baby. And so I should just accept my failure. Man, I'm getting my dream role so fast before I have any clout or any budget. Yes, absolutely. What I mean, the other the other option would be like climb and climb and climb and climb and mm-hmm. get all of this experience and and then do it right. at the very end. Yeah, you know. So yeah, and then as tough. she's thinking all this stuff, several hundreds of thousands of dollars fall out of her money bag, and then her <laughs> money assistant puts in more money in there. Oh, okay. And then she remembers like, oh yeah, I was given the powers of Disney <laughs> and Sleeping Beauty rubies, which <laughs> gives me the best princess. Yeah, and it gives me the power to put anyone in a lifetime 
from coma. Yes, magic it, is real. <laughs> All Disney magic is real. But it will preserve their body forever. It will, absolutely. And a Prince Charming can break the kiss. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, first thought is, can I do this? Second thought, I can. Third thought, can. all Disney magic is real. Yeah. Her fourth thought, her fourth thought, as she's looking over, she goes, man, did I earn this? And did I miss out on the journey of right. going through the grind? Everything was handed to right. me so I quickly. Left- I never right. slept in my car once, yeah. right. like, and got a ticket overnight at LA because parking was crazy. Yeah, like, I did sleep in there a couple hours, but like, it is a Bugatti. It, yeah, yeah, it is uh, with a bed. With a bed. Yeah. 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 Bugatti with a bed and a hot tub. Yeah. It's a stretch yeah. Bugatti. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad we hashed all this out. Yes. When you hear it all happen in the song, <laughs> it's confusing. And yes. so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, right. So we're just jumping right to the jumping good part. right to yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah, introspective conflict part. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, we, we are passing over all the different magic systems. Right, but it is cool because she's like, I do have the power if anybody uh, says you don't get the roll, I can give them a poisoned apple. Yes, I can use the sweet magic sword right. from Black Cauldron, which allows me to right. beat anybody. And she's like, with the poisoned apple, she wouldn't even feel guilty because they would find their true love, which is really hard to do, like with mm-hmm. the dating apps in L.A. and like. Yeah. yeah, I think anyone would eat a poisoned apple if they knew they could get that. They're poisoned... They yeah, their true love to come and kiss them yeah. eventually. Right. And that's eventually. how you know they're the true love. So she's like, I wouldn't even feel guilty about that, honestly. Because yeah. I'm gifting them something they probably can't find themselves. Totally true. Absolutely. If I know LA. If I and I know LA. <laughs> I Actors, own this town. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this song, uh, yeah, she's wondering. Do, do, should I put in the hard work? And meanwhile, Carly's at the bar. Yeah, having a great time with her poor acting yeah. friends. Her poor acting friends. Or and, so it seems. And she, or so it seems. But On the she, outside, it looks great. Yeah, but maybe she's got some introspection to do as well. Yeah, and so she walks over to the bar and sits down and orders two. She just says, two, please. And <laughs> the uh, bartender knows. And they knows what yeah. they're talking about. Yeah. And they reconnect, and they're talking about did we both get what we want or did one of us get what we want or did neither of us get what we want? And it's a really yeah. interesting, yeah, well that, and that happens halfway through the song, <laughs> right? We get to see, yes. we get to see what, what, uh, uh, Oh, Broadway. What Broadway That's right. feels. So, yeah, and I then think... we get to see a little bit of what True. Carly yeah. feels. So yep. it's, yeah. They're yeah, right. separate. Then together. Then together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In this, in this song, credits. Okay. Tender, but yeah, I'm here now. 
Oh, sorry. I thought they. Sorry, my spatial awareness is so <laughs> off. That's okay. I've just been going through so much failure. Like, I don't know what's up and what's down, but I, I don't know what to say, bro. It feels amazing. It feels amazing to free fall a bit, you know? Yeah. It's nice to have no cushion to land on. Yeah. It's like, if you run out of money, daddy's, daddy's credit card can't help you. And that's, like, kind of freeing. It is, yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, I... I Obviously, it was invite only. I would have come to the premiere, but it looks incredible. Hey, thanks. And tell your Disney Daddy Corporation thanks, too. I mean, they did make it possible. I can't. I'm not allowed to go there anymore. I divorced them. (laughs) Oh, you divorced your dad? Yeah, I transferred all of my rights and properties to you. Oh, yeah. That's right. (laughs) Man. How's he doing, by the way? Daddy Um, Corpse. He's great. Oh, good. Now that I think about it, I just need to go on Jimmy Kimmel and act like I am humble. Then maybe it's not so bad to be a Nepo baby. I just need to go on SNL and make a sketch about how I'm a Nepo baby with a leg up and then could participate in this story our own tale of two cities but i'd like to share what if the pair of us go on david letterman we can be nepples together just as friends yes you go on as celebrity and i'll go on as, as your UPA. pa personal assistant in life and also in an icon and you're my cool kid kid (laughs) finally my Nicole Kidman dream I'll look just like her find a Botox surgeon we can do it together together yes you and me here at AMC we can make all our dreams if you just pans out and we see that it is the silver screen of an AMC movie theater. The camera then pans from the screen over to Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Wink. Um, line. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making magic with us here at AMC. You're doing great. Thank you for making magic here at AMC. And thank you, Hollywood, for making all our dreams come true. Just for being born in the right place. As the, the credits roll, I don't have regrets anymore. As the credits roll, the end. Oh, a beautiful story. And <laughs> Please send this to your friends in L.A. They need the encouragement. They need it's tough out there, but they forget. Yeah. Yeah. You just either need to be a Nepo baby or be friends with a Nepo baby who's willing to swap lives willing with to you. Swap yeah. lives Honestly, with you. easy. Yeah, There's easier than you think. Yeah, you just there. have to go back in time um, and pick a different um, egg to germinate in. Yes. yes. Go back into the individual sperm you were, quantum leap into <laughs> another sperm, <laughs> And then beat your old self back and become someone new. Yes. 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 Easy. Because inside the genetics of every single, you know, chance of pregnancy is the next Hollywood star. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And the next 
former past Nepo baby. Yes, yes, absolutely. And no shame to Nepo baby. If you acknowledge it, it's like, hey, what can you do? What yeah, can it's you not do? your fault. Yeah, we were all gifted something glorious. What can you do except yeah. acknowledge it and maybe share more maybe of your share wealth? It. Yeah. yeah, which is cool because that actually is the message of the show. Yeah. She shares it. She shared all of it. And then she shares it back. Shares it back. And yeah. then in the um, epilogue, they share it with the whole actor's community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, it goes... It splits between a lot of people, so it ends up being like not a whole lot per person. Yeah. Uh, but it's fun. Like, yeah, we don't see this song, but they have this wonderful where they have every single like B, C, and D list actor you could possibly think of, and they sing this this beautiful song called "We're a Nepo Family." Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we don't see it, but yeah. it is cool. But Never. it does sound like we are family. Oh, my brothers, sisters, and me. We. Oh, no babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friends. Sisters and me. Uh, I, just a little bit. If I remember little correctly, bit. there was another musical that we reviewed that also had a song similar to that. Oh, yeah. But the composer didn't know how the song went. Oh. He couldn't remember, and it sounded horrible. Oh. It was a cappella, if yeah. I remember correctly. It was well, an a cappella song. Because the composer, <laughs> he did the Emperor's uh, No Clothes bit, yeah. where he was like, there's music right there, can't right. you see it? On yeah. the stanza. <laughs> it's, it's right like, there. Yeah, I think we can. And so they don't know their a cappella, yeah. Emperor's New Clothes. Yeah. What, what's that called? Emperor's New, Emperor's New Clothes. Oh yeah. my gosh, it drives me crazy when I know in my brain I can see the actor or the thing that I'm trying to think of, and then mm. I can't remember their name, and I do it all the time. Are you thinking Emperor's New Groove? No. No, Emperor's I'm talking Clothes. about when like I was trying town. to do. Oh, oh I Ron Howard. Forgot. Ron Howard. Mm. He's a forgettable name, though. He's behind oh, sorry, the camera. Ron. Sorry, Ron. Sorry, Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. Have you done anything since the Grinch? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but, um, you know, we're never going to forget about you, dear listener, because we love you. And we hope that you keep watching with us and keep following your dreams, because whether you're a Nepo baby or not, there's a Nepo baby around the corner willing to help you out in your life. That's true. And we hope to one day be Nepo babies. That's right. So that we can share our generational privilege with you. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, enjoy these songs and stories here at... Monday. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. I think, depending on when my thing is. Oh, yeah, go read some comments. All right, some comments. The Kami Kami. Today's Friday. Well spotted. Oh, you paused it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Lol, let's start a podcast. Let's quick. start a podcast. I, don't know. I told Layla I got a heart out at 11. Okay, sounds good. Okay. okay, let's see if we can just do a fan film ready real quick. I love her. Thought they were married. He fancies her. I know it. <laughs> they ate. I just know he knows. He knows. Santa Claus. Knows. She knows. Hollow Disney's girl. Fun. She's going to drop some heat in the final part. Did that happen, Handy Mart? And also, interesting name. <laughs> I um, like it. Okay, I'm really in love with this girl. Thank you, T-Lid. Just want to hear you laugh. Ha ha ha. Hee hee ho. Uh, they're both super talented. Uh, and Caleb. So true. And, and Caleb, Caleb, too. Give Caleb some love. Um, big Girl Birthday. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I like that title. Big Girl Birthday. Uh, sorry, we don't record in advance on these guys, uh, on these lives, but um, we just... We ignore you. For Musical Monday. (laughs) We love you, but yes. Yeah, the episode portion will get released later as an episode, but the live is just now. I love that someone said, she's funny for sure, but I'm not into her as much as everyone else's lol. (laughs) (laughs) She mad funny, though. I'm just not your type. That's okay. That's totally okay. Whoa, someone gave me a hat. Thank you, Ethan B. Thanks, Ethan B. Um, This is very fun live. Thank you, Handy Mart. Okay, Giat. (laughs) Nice. can't even see it, but... Um, nice. All right. Flooding is back again. What does that mean? Um, also, real quick, if you're just joining the live, we're about Ethan to... Ethan Beeson is a girl expert! Oh, all right. What is, what's Ethan their name? B. Ethan B. Real quick, uh, you can tell us what you want. We'll sing Ethan a song B. for you. Ethan B. Give us a song title. We'll, we'll, we'll sing a quick song yeah. title for you. If you don't give it to us soon, though, we will make yeah. one up about your name about and your anything name. we Ethan think B. is true about you. Yes. And what so the B stands we for. We got 10 seconds. Um, and also, for if you're just joining the live, we're about to do a segment called Fan Film Friday. Give us the title of a movie that doesn't exist, a mm-hmm. film that doesn't exist that will inspire our next segment. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ethan B. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing for I Ethan B. I want one of my name. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. There it goes. Not afraid. Go 
because I hope this song about your name has made your day. Jerk, don't be an Ethan Biatch. Just be kind and Ethan be yourself. Ethan, Ethan B. B, what'll it be? Ethan B, what'll it be? Ethan B, you're not me, Ethan B. Not quite as good as Ethan A, but way better than Ethan C. You can start your own Ethan posterity. So much. Thank, you, Dimby. Thank you for that support. We appreciate that so much. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we're trying to do fan film on Friday real quick. Fan film yeah. Friday, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, I got hard out a little bit. <clears throat> this one has no music, but leave us some titles for movies, uh, films, movie. maybe a genre you like. Indeed. Fan indeed. film Friday. Let's see, that was so awesome. Thank you. Uh, Jos- Josuito. Josuito. That's very cool. Ethan B, your surname is now B, and that's it. <laughs> that's how it be now. That's True, how it be. Josh. Um, let's see. Should we go back to the other ones to see? Yeah, there were some good ones back there. Uh, yeah, if we don't get new ones in 10 seconds, we'll just pick another musical Alrighty. title. Alrighty. Oh, Ethan B said loved it. Yay! Yay! Okay. Um, Western says Joey. Tarantino says Mog. That'd be fun. <laughs> um, vampire. Dun Galaxy Empire. Never Yesterday, uh, Alien Apple Avalanche. Alien um, Apple Avalanche? Mm-hmm. Um, we could do Alien Avalanche. Alien Have Avalanche. Have done an a- av- one before? No. Mm, not in here. Not okay, this. we shall do. Alien Avalanche. Da-da-da-da. All right. Just reminder, and please remind people if they ask, We will. it's still live, but we will not be watching you. We'll this be so focused funny. on Someone ourselves. Someone said, Harry Potter, please. You just want us to redo the lies. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Funny. Okay. Alrighty. It would be fun to do fanfic. Oh, fan fiction? Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Everyone's wanted to do a special episode of Fan Fiction yeah. Friday. Yeah. I like that. Okay. It's great. We shall begin. Shall begin? Yes. Uh, Alien Avalanche? Yeah. Okay. Indeed. Blorg. Blim. Our ship is crashing. And who knows where we'll go, but I just want you to know that I glock you. You know that I'm glumsied. <laughs> I've been glumsied for three echions. That's right. Are you sure this is appropriate to... I mean, I don't know. The time dilation, perhaps my um, matical back home has <laughs> aged 14 eons. That's right. And I have a... Um, Mm, Clark on say. <laughs> so, well, don't you have work. don't you have a glum isled on the way? Uh, that was a April Blaperol Fool's Day. Oh, of course, <laughs> but I need to focus on the mission. It doesn't matter where we crash land. We we have to find the cure for our home world. We won't make it. Just accept Glyph. Gleth has been staring me in the eye stocks ever since I was <laughs> crusted from the egg cavern. <laughs> then give up. It's not worth it anymore. Our planet Schlongadong Shl- will not <laughs> will not exist by the time Our we planet schlongadong has been shortening by a half inch every year. Soon it will be. The shrinkage will make it non-existent. <laughs> make it a bloat. <laughs> a real bloat. And it'll explode as a bloat. Explode as a bloat. What is this? We're crash landing on this blue planet with clouds. We're getting closer. <gasps> Tall buildings. Uh, what? A statue of a green woman with a crown and flame? That's, uh, uh, that's uh, crazy. It's too much. The transformation. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, you just heard the first scene on today's episode of... <laughs> of... 
Fan Film Friday. <laughs> My alien just sounds like Urkel. <laughs> uh, the aliens do that. What is Earth? <laughs> um, all right, you just heard the first. Um, Did I crash lamp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just heard the first scene from a fan film uh, called um, Alien Avalanche, which was actually a student film. Uh, they have sex a pretty high, like a pretty high budget student film. Yeah. I was really surprised that it didn't make it into the festival circuit. Mm-hmm. We got our hands on it. We were able to see it. Uh, but it's really interesting because, um, yes, have been there. There have been shows about aliens crash landing on Earth and having to deal with it. Duh, duh, duh. Yes. But this one has an element that has never yet been explored in any of that genre. A planet schlongadong. The planet schlongadong. <laughs> and yeah. they keep... <laughs> It's such an important part of the story, the planet schlong. <laughs> honestly, the, really the story at its core is about um, uh, climate change at a galactic level. Mm. Yes. Yes. We and, and that's really important for us to think about because we're not only heating up our planet, but heat is emanating and eventually heating up all planets. The entire galaxy. Yeah. yeah. But what were you going to say is unique about it? No, it was dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, also, like, most are just like, um, like uh, it's like, how do I fit in to the world that I'm in? But I like, they kind of flip the script on its head. Sure, sure. They try to make everyone else assimilate to their culture. Mm. But they don't have force. They don't have weapons. It's not an invasion. Yeah. It is a war of words of them trying to get New Yorkers to try to become Schlongdongians. Um, and you're saying that's not, it's not like assimilation or colonizing. It sounds no, it's, a lot like well, that. if an alien does it, I'm not saying it's not wrong, but I'm not it, saying it's, it's not, not problematic. That, it's not particularly violent in this story. Right. Not violent. It's just, they yeah. say pooty poois. They say pooty poois. Honestly, too much. We've taken about 90% of them out of the script just yeah. for your sake. But, but they were there. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah, yeah. I think my favorite part is how they, how, uh, it ends up being a lot about the avalanche. It's kind of a little surprise. That is a surprise. Yeah. An avalanche in New York City. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, you know, this, because... Avalanche can mean a couple of different things. It can mean the literal crash landing of the physical aliens. It yes. could also mean an avalanche of new alien culture yes, that is right. being spread across. Right. Snow, maybe. Snow. They could be bringing snow. <laughs> Climate change, like we said. Climate change, give me. There's yeah. lots of different offers here. Um, but I think in this scene, um, the aliens are in New York, in the That's big right. city. Mm-hmm. In the, yeah, and, and the avalanche might happen, but that doesn't stop them from saying, hey, why don't you try my food? Yeah, they go up to a hot dog stand. That's where it starts. Yeah. And they say, hot dog, get your hot dog. And then the aliens go like, well, how about I give you this? Yeah. Okay, let's see that scene. Yeah. <laughs> hot dog, get your hot dog. Hmm, what is this? It looks like a 12-inch Flimdorp. Uh, no, sir. It's just hot dog meat, all scrunched up together. Why should I consume this in my ingestinal bowels? Well, it makes you feel good. You ever heard ketchup, mustard, relish? No, but I have heard of Blimblorp, Ding Dong, and Hip Hop. <laughs> Say, you look crazy. You've got a green body and uh, you've got nipples for eyes. <laughs> How about you try this on for size? It has all the nutrients to help you become an incredible leader. No thanks, I love hot dogs. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. I drink ketchup from the, from the spit. Glum. From the tap. I don't think we're getting anywhere here. <laughs> Let's move on to someone else. Okay. ding a ling a ling ding a ling Ice cream, get your ice cream. Get your ice cream here. <laughs> Ice cream shop, nice mint chocolate chip, nice chocolate chip cookie dough. Hmm, it's cold, but it's not quite ice. Say, you look familiar. <laughs> hey, are you the same guy from down the street? <laughs> That's right, I sell the ice cream as well. Okay, Glum, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go across town. Uh, they cross the bridge over to the Bronx, uh, where they find uh, 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 one of those fruit fruit cup places. Uh, mango, get your mango. Come get your mango. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> Oh my God. Glum, I'm not sure. I think this planet is inhabited by only one person. Get your mango, get your pineapple. Hey, let me, I'm going to try a new tactic. Okay. You look lonely. What gave it away? Is it my, uh, lo- the, my, me wearing both sides of a friendship locket? Yes, and it's... It says and best it, friend, friend, all three. It says best friend, friend. 
and you have sadness in your eyes. You know, on our planet, sadness was outlawed millennia ago. Well, we tried to outline, outlaw booze, and people just drank more of it. <laughs> <laughs> so did and that work? We did. We outlawed loneliness, and we also outlawed friendship, and then people had more friendship. <laughs> Say, that sounds like a swell idea. What a... What a Get your friendship! Get your friendship here! He puts his hand on his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I think we're poisoned to them! He puts on He puts on a he puts on a glove and puts his hand on his wrist. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I Can you heal my modeled hand? He his eyes glow blue and he looks at the modeled <laughs> hand. How's that Shlug-a-dong. feel? Shlug-a-dong Your hand now looks like Shlug-a-dong. <laughs> Your hand now looks like our planet Shlagadong. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, we... <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. His, his eyeballs start melting off his face and going down to replace his nipples. <laughs> we just wanted to help. They run. I've they run. One of you. They run until they reach Chicago. Wait, no, don't. Oh, they go back. I never belong with the humans now. Wait, you're transforming into one of us. Yes. And now you must go and touch others and help them become (laughs) Shlangdongians. No, I can't. His eyes grow blue. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Good. Yes, Glum, I I Um, haven't heard from my friend Glum in such a long time. (laughs) Oh, Glum's the one who said about the power of (laughs) Shlong. Oh, good. (laughs) But, mm, yes, my my ding-dongs are wiggling. Excellent. (laughs) (laughs) And that's where the scene ends. They start this infection process yes. where they are turning other people yeah. until pretty oh much all gosh. of New York or Shlongdongans. Which, as I remember, is pretty violent. Yeah. Well, it feels that way. It's kind of like um, it's like the Unity episode of Rick and Morty. Like, yeah. yes, at its core, but like, like it makes a good point. There's peace. There's friendship. There's order yeah. to the chaos. True. So it's kind of a give and take here. True. Yeah, yeah, that's true. right. Um, yeah. And if anyone is just now watching, we are doing a uh, review of an alien show. Yes, yeah, called so the Alien Avalanche. That's right. Yep. And so mm-hmm. that's why, perhaps, if you heard someone say, my ding-dongs are wiggling. It's perhaps. an alien thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just the closest translation sound. Sound-wise. Yeah. 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 So don't be too worried. Okay. Final scene. Final scene. Um, They've assimilated almost all. But it's not really an assimilation. Like, that's the thing. They're not like, it's not hive mind. They are just transforming they them. They do the blue eyes thing. Yeah. It is occasionally. But that's let, briefly let's hive be honest, mind. That's we, mind control. <laughs> <laughs> that's temporary mind control. But if we saw this in a movie, they would be the bad guys. Right. Because they are changing intrinsically who we are and what we like and what we believe in and that's bad. But what's interesting is (laughs) when you get turned into a Shlongdangi and you become the best version of yourself Right. and New York City becomes the greatest city in the world. (laughs) Okay, but that's actually what a lot of alien movies say. Yes, but what's fun about this one is it is. (laughs) After the initial shock of having your body parts rearranged, um, you kind of slowly change back into who you were, uh, but, ba- but way, way, but way better. better. It's yeah. temporary. It's you turn like into a, him a and then you go back. It's a temporary cocoon. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a great way to think of it. Yeah. Their skin it's is clear. You. Like if you have like braces, they're off now and you don't need them Let's anymore. Let's not list flaws. Um, if you are selfish. with places, braces are flawed. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Braces. Of course not. I had two phases and a mouth expander. I yeah. think I should know. And I didn't need any. Because you're flawless. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I could get them now. Guys, comment in the chat if you think I should get braces. Don't. Do. I'm serious. Well, do it because your teeth are perfect. They're well, great. Yeah, where, where are you going to move them to, Shay? Up? Yeah, up, down, <laughs> left, right. I just right. want my, my whole mouth higher. I just higher. want it higher. <laughs> Just in chat, say if you say if you think I should get braces. And why? And why? And okay. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, in this final scene, this is where the avalanche comes in. Yeah. Yes. Because they forgot their mission, which was mm-hmm. to fight global warming. Mm-hmm. And yes. So and um, Shlong, Shlongadong has officially become a bloat. And it has imploded. It has imploded, and um, yeah. the after effects are making yeah. um, the earth even ho- yeah. hotter. Yeah. Because here's the thing about uh, Shlongadonk. They use so much plastic. 
Ugh. So when it explodes, yeah. it's flying. Like it's you see, like the pictures everywhere. of all the plastic floating in the ocean, like the ducks getting caught. Yeah. It's like that, but oh. it's in the sky. Yeah. Oh. If you thought Trash Island was bad, yeah. it's like a whole planet. It's and, a all, storm. and all the space turtles are getting caught in it. It's really yeah, sad. It's like yeah. really emotional. Yeah. yeah. And their straws are three miles long, so they are not getting out. Oh. <sighs> That yeah. hurts yeah. my heart. It does. But space turtles are ugly. They're gross. They're yeah, hideous. and they're bigoted. They're flawed. <laughs> they're very flawed and they bigoted. They are kind of all. <laughs> they're the sp- <laughs> they're not as space bullies. Yeah, yeah. and they're um, <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, yeah, they're d bags. Yeah, yeah. they're. You might, you might say, well, how can we judge an entire species? Yeah. It's like no. Regular space turtles, yeah. which are called galactic turtles, yeah. go through a testing process, and if they're douchebags enough, they become a yeah. space turtle. Do Deuce, douchebag space yeah. turtle, so and like, they, yeah. they, they tell their it. space turtle girlfriends yeah. like, "Hey, it's, I just want to look at uh, Instagram yeah. Instagram turtle models." Yeah, mm-hmm. and turtles is spelled T U R D L E S. Turd. Turtles. 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 Yeah. 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 So in this last scene, <laughs> um, yeah, we have this impending, you know, the after effects of their failed mission. Yes. Right? And so the earth is deep doo doo. Uh-huh. Deep doo doo. Uh-huh. Um, and so, uh, so the, uh, the ding dong, the schling dongians, <laughs> they have a choice to make. <laughs> they can either. Schling <laughs> Um, they can either uh, decide to like basically doom Earth to become the next Shlongdong, mm-hmm. um, Shlongdong, or they can transform their bodies into a shield and protect the Earth and keep the Earth as it was. Right, mm-hmm. and they decide to ask Hot Dog, Mister Hot Dog, mm-hmm. to decide for them because he was the first. Yes, and they're indecisive. Yes. So they say that's one of their few flaws. It's up to you. Yeah. Yes. Let's see that scene. <laughs> their few flaws. Wait. Are you, were you thinking of something else? It's perfect. And then he decides whether the Earth becomes a trash land or they expand their bodies to keep the Earth mm-hmm. safe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hot dog man. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me Mr. Hot Dog, Mr. Ice Cream, and Mr. Mango. Mr. Friend, please, <laughs> you have to make this choice for us. We miss our planet, and there's a part of us that would love for the whole planet to be our home. But we've grown to love this place, and as we injected our DNA into you, we've seen you become your best selves. It is truly beautiful. That's right. And we love this thing you call shampoo. It made our, mm, our, our carbon threads so um, smooth. So smooth and soft. Yes. And we love this thing you call music. <laughs> <laughs> and we love these capsules called a Dural. <laughs> We've been so focused and full of energy. <laughs> and we would hate for you to lose that. But at the same time, we do miss... Um, uh, home Schlangadong. Home Schlangadong. With its r- rolling hills of Glorp and its rising sun of uh, a Neander floor. Yes. So we need you, human man. <laughs> Decide for us. Protect the earth as you know it now or have it become a trash planet for us. That's right. We forgot to take our do roll and so we have decision fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Mr. Hot dog, mango, ice cream man. Well, I say Earth's the best <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so let's protect it. Oh, I like it. One of us will go up and protect the Earth, and the other one will stay here to continue to enjoy Earth as it is. That's the ticket. And say, uh, are we still going to be our best selves? No, oh. you will return back to the filth you once were. That's the dilemma. Would you rather have a trash planet or be a trash person? Does that change your thought process at all? <laughs> well. Oh, man. I forgot to take my Adderall as well. <laughs> There's a shortage. <laughs> you must make the choice. Me? <laughs> He touches him on the wrist again. <laughs> Take all of me now, trash man. Eyes glow, glow blue. They throw trash man into space. 
And he expands across the entire earth. And they protect the orb. They protect... That we call home. That we call home. (laughs) And Trashman smiles from space and throws down (laughs) hot dogs, mangoes, and ice cream. That's right. It's raining. Mangoes, says a little girl. And her mother, (laughs) impaled by an ice cream (laughs) cone, says no. It's an avalanche. The aliens quickly heal her. Quickly heal. And they put their arm around the mom and the little girl and say, huh, some might call this an alien avalanche. (laughs) The end. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know why the student film didn't make it to the Cannes Festival. Well, the funny thing is, like, all of the peripheral stuff, like the galactic turtles and, and all that, I think really was the core of the story. Right. And they didn't spend enough time on it. Yeah, you know, it was it was kind of supposed to be this overarching thing with like story sprinkled in. Yeah, and right. Just got it. Because it's up. like the space turtles. You're like, whoa, that's a really interesting villain. Mm-hmm. Like, then they had a good backstory and they sang a, a song. Mm-hmm. Said, mm-hmm. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. Yes. <laughs> he grows tentacles and a sick white haircut. <laughs> well, as a turtle. As a turtle. It's Ursula Turtle. Mm-hmm. And you're like Ursurtle. Ursurtle. And you're mm-hmm. like, that's pretty cool. And then they just skip right over that. And you're yeah. like, I know. Oh. It's like when you read a book. And and there's like two perspectives and you're yep. like i don't care about derek yeah let's let's see the turtle yeah let's see the turtle um but i what we hope you want to see is another fan film uh with us every single friday on this fifth oh we're actually doing this for real yeah that's cool hey hey um on this little thing we like to call fan film friday Goodbye now. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye now. Oh, wait, let's reset. Oh, what? I know. We didn't reset. It ended a long time ago. Probably two minutes. What the heck? I got 5.6 thousand views. Oh, heck yeah. That's great. 6,300 views. Oh, really? Wait. Oh, total? Total. How much should it end on? I don't know.